Hi guys, this is the Exit Light Channel. It's me, Rob. Hope you're all having a lovely time. I hope you're all ready for Christmas next week. And I hope that you believe in Father Christmas and you believe in his elves who help him through the year, who help him make, who help make all the toys. Anyway, before we start, can you hit that like button and subscribe because you will be notified of any new content that's going to come out. We've just done a podcast about Christmas and some of the darker, more unusual things associated with Christmas, Krampus and and stuff like that. Christmas is a very mixed up time of year. It's a very strange time of year. It brings out a lot of emotions in people and you know it's like it's it's just strange. I remember um I used to work on the door. I used to be a doorman in a hotel. Um uh, Britannia Hotel in Manchester and people would come out on the works days and you would get people who never went out all year and who suddenly hardly ever drank all year and suddenly they were in Manchester City Centre they were in a nightclub even though it was sometimes during the day, could kick off sometimes 11, 12 o'clock they'd start, and they'd have a drink, and the, the most normal, lovely person would turn into the biggest dick you've ever met. And it was terrible every year, and it was the same every single year. And it was crazy. It was really, really crazy. But anyway, Tracy's going to tell me off here because I'm going off subject. Elves. Elves. We all know about elves. We all know about Father Christmas and his helpers. Well, like these people that used to go out and get drunk and act like idiots, elves pretty much are not positive, they are definitely negative from what I have read today. You do get some elves which her, which um, came in tiny human form, but for the majority of them, they are dark elves and they cause mischief and they cause trouble. They can cause disease in humans and cattle. And this is the scary part that really, really, that really got me. They can sit upon the breast of a sleeper and give him bad dreams. And the German word for, the German word for nightmare is Alp drunken. Alp drunken, which basically means elf pressure, and to steal a human children, and to steal human children and substitute changelings, which were basically deformed or weak elf or fairy children. In the British Isles. In the British Isles, flint implements called elf bolts, elf arrows, or elf shot, which are now known to be prehistoric tools. Excuse me, guys. 
which were used by the Aboriginal Irish and early Scots, were believed to be the weapons in which the elves injured cattle. Elves occasionally were also very, very benevolent and helpful. The second edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica, which was published in 1777, beat that data, and between 1777 and 1784, calls the word elf obsolete, but reports that belief in such creatures still sub still exists in many parts of its own country. In the Highlands of Scotland, newborn children were watched till their christening is over, or they could be stolen or changed by some of these fantastical existences. Fantastical existences, that's a new one. Right, this is where for me it starts getting a little bit blurry and a bit crazy in time elves came to be indistinct indistinct from fairies so we've got the two now we've got elves we've got fairies we've got elves we've got fairies in a minute we're going to have goblins now this is all Starting off from a point of Father Christmas, Santa Claus, and his helpers. So we've, we've, we're running on down the road now, and um, the Elf King and Lord of the Rings, which was a, a, originally a book. Excuse me, I need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. But... Basically, basically, elves are just a nasty piece of work that um, you wouldn't really want to come across on a dark night. And I have actually seen some footage. I don't know. If you like your paranormal programs and ghost programs, there is a picture. There is a bit of footage of this... It's a dog, and the dog looks, he's looking, and all of a sudden, it's in, a, it's in someone's kitchen. This little figure runs across the kitchen. It must be about the size of a Barbie doll. And the only reason I know how big dark Barbie dolls are is because I have daughters, not because I play with Barbie. And this little object, this little being, ran across the kitchen. And it looks really real. It really does look real. It's crazy. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, was that actually footage of an elf? A little elf? See, we get to think about them, like living under toadstools. And things like that, and they're all lovely, but they're not. They're not. They're just a nasty piece of work, to be honest. Just a nasty, nasty piece of work. But anyway, so we're going into the realms of fairies, and obviously we all know about fairies. We've done podcasts on fairies before, and we all know about goblins because obviously, and ogres then who live under bridges and won't let you cross and things like that. So, do you believe that, do you believe that there are such things as elves? Personally, I do. All legend is based on fact. All legend is based on fact. And that is one of the things that you can't get away from. But, obviously, you know me, I believe in anything really, I believe in anything, but, anyway guys, 
hope you've liked our little chat please hit that like button hit that subscribe button you'll be notified of any new content that's coming out and please have a great great christmas and a really really happy new year stay safe god bless and i will speak to you all again soon